Hey everyone, Ace Gamer Studios here, and guys, today we got a brand new video. Now, I know we just covered a video on the leaked official images of the Boba Fett's palace, but I also wanted to address these other LEGO leaks that have been sitting for around for a week, and I wanted to wait until there was other set names that were released. And sadly, there's only been one set, so I figured, you know what, if other sets get announced, I would just cover it. So anyway, we got seven Lego sets coming in the Summer Wave, which we only currently know of four or three of them have at this current moment of time. And a new set that's supposed to be arriving in the late spring, early summer has been leaked. So we're going to cover that one first, and then we're going to talk about the other one. So if you guys happen to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share this video with a friend. Comment down below, guys, what do you think the other potential sets that I don't talk about in this video could potentially be. So with that being said, let's get right to it. Alrighty guys, so starting off this list, we have the Mandalorian's Naboo Starfighter. Now this came from the book of Boba Fett, and I'm actually really happy about this because this was a set that a lot of people wanted to see ever since it actually appeared. And with the Razor Crest being gone, I think that this would be a suitable choice. Now, according to the price and the minifigures in the set, it will be costing you $90 and will be coming with the Mandalorian, BD-1, Grogu, and I can't remember the lady, but I will toss her up here, here um, and the name of the character because I keep forgetting. But essentially, that is going to be a $90 set. Now, if I remember correctly, the Naboo Starfighter was at least a $60, $70 set. So I'm curious to see what new pieces they're adding to the set to make the set $90. But all in all, I'm actually really excited for this. Now, according to the leaks, the set will be releasing on June 1st. And apparently it is a part of the spring slash May wave for 2022, which is really, really interesting. So now with that one out of the way, let's talk about the next. Alrighty, so next up is 75332. This will be a four plus set and it is another ATST. But the only difference for this set is that it will be based off of Endor. The set will be potentially featuring, now I don't remember exactly besides two minifigures. The two minifigures that I am currently aware of is Chewbacca and the ATST driver. The other minifigure I'm assuming is going to be a scout trooper or another stormtrooper or even a Ewok or a rebel trooper. It's going to be one of those four things and the set, it I don't know why, but it's going to be a $30 set from what it seems like. or, or It's like a $30, $40 set. I'll toss it up on the screen just to make sure. Um, there's clarification, but honestly, the fact that there's another ATSD set coming in is just kind of questionable. Like, where is the 20th anniversary Attack of the Clone sets, which we're actually going to get into that very, very soon. Alrighty, guys, so the next set on this list is going to be a $30 set. This is 75333. And it is Obi-Wan's Starfighter. Now, now for some of you guys who are probably wondering, hold up, wait a minute. Why was Anakin Starfighter $20 and this one is $30? Well, here's the reason why. The set will be featuring Obi-Wan Kenobi, the R4, and our first appearance of a Kaminoan in minifigure. Now, I don't remember the name of the character, obviously. I have a hard time remembering the name of the characters. But this is really exciting. The fact that we got to see a, a literally a Trandoshan, I mean, not a Trandoshan, a Quarren. Now we're getting a Kaminoan. Bro, like, this is absolutely insane. And, and what is actually really cool about the set is that for, for the very first time in a long time, we have been wondering, what are the Episode 2 sets going to be like? And we have finally got our first actual 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones set with Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfire. Alrighty guys, so next up is 75335, a buildable UCS BD-1. Bro, this is actually insane. 
So the set, I can't remember exactly, but it's going to look like something that you're going to see on the screen right here. And it's actually supposed to have a molded BD-1, which is really, really interesting. So like the BD-1 that we end up getting in the N1 Mandalorian Starfighter will be the same one, which is kind of a downside, but it's also not. Now for one, this is absolutely insane because... Lego literally said that they weren't going to be doing any Jedi Fallen Order sets. And the fact that literally the name of this set is BD-1, like, that is a Jedi, that is the Jedi Fallen Order droid. And this is absolutely insane. Now, I bet you the only reason why they didn't do this is because of the fact that literally the character, like, another version of the BD-1 droid ended up showing up. And if that probably didn't happen, we most likely wouldn't have never gotten the set. And the fact that that is most likely the reason why is absolutely insane. And literally, for me, this is a buy, like a day one buy. Like there's a bunch of sets I'm looking forward to for the Summer Wave that are going to be day one buys. Okay, so something that I didn't mention about the BD-1 notable BD-1 set is that the set will be costing 100 bucks. But the next set is 75336 and this is uh, gonna be a hundred dollar set and guys this is such a dream come true we're getting an ATT for the first time in 10 years guys like this is absolutely insane now there isn't any confirmed minifigures for this set but most likely we're going to be getting a clone gunner phase one a phase one clone pilot most likely Mace Windu and a few battle droids, but bro, I'm actually really excited. And the fact that this, the previous one, if I remember correctly, was like $120, and the fact that it's going to be $20 cheaper, and obviously with some sets at Walmart's be um, setting Lego sets on rollback and everything, dropping their prices down a bit, this is going to be absolutely insane. And I really hope when the official images come comes out, that it does look better compared to the 2012 version of the ATT. But anyhow, I'm really excited about the set. And now, one of the interesting things now, I'm not sure if this is going to be the $140 set or what, but there are two sets here that I have left. One is supposed to be an LAT gunship. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the $90 set or the $140 set, but I'm pretty sure... Now, we're going to be getting another LAAT gunship at some point. Now, the next set is Cad Bane's Starfighter. Now, currently, as far as I'm aware of, the minifigures is just going to be Cad Bane and Potent. Now, I don't know if this is based off of the Bad Batch, which most likely will be. We most likely will see Omega and maybe um, Hunter and a Kaminoan. And Fennec, I think that would be a good start, but the fact that that set's going to be $140 is really questionable. So there is some kind of interesting look here, and honestly, I would say the LAT gunship will be the $140 set between those two, because I can really not see Cad Bane Starfighter or like ship being a $140 set. It is possible, but it's kind of hard to believe that. So anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. As of right now, there are two sets that haven't been leaked whatsoever. One of them is $70, and the other one is $90. So let me know, guys, what do you think those two sets could possibly be? And let me know, guys, how excited are you are for this summer wave? And hopefully very soon, we actually start getting set images around March or April. This is actually really exciting. So anyway, I'll see you all very, very soon. Peace out.